Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another early, fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys and Target. And today, I got a whole host of new action figures to check out and show off for the upcoming Holothon 2022, which starts March 18th. Some have already started hitting stores early, right? But a lot of new figures, various brands, very exciting. The Wolfman, Lon Chaney Ultimate Wolfman, black and white edition. You can grab him along with... Already, the 40th anniversary of the Evil Dead, Ultimate Ash. Demona glides in for the new Gargoyles action figure line. And, of course, a new four-pack of Turtles, in case you missed the old ones. Nice pickup right there. But this guy, this is the one. This is this is cool. We'll talk more about him in just a few. But if you are interested, Holothon starts March 18th. And for those in the U.S. of A., you can head over to Targets and to Target.com. That way, you can grab everything either online or in the store. And for international peoples... Starting March 18th, you can head over to holothon.com and grab everything you need as well. So, this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at a ton of new action figures from NECA Toys in conjunction with Holothon 2022. So, let's get started. Now, first and foremost, yes, like I said, I can't believe already, it's the 40th anniversary of the Evil Dead movie. So, Neck is kicking it off with the 40th anniversary line, Ultimate Ash. In case you're wondering, it is a horror movie, as I'm told. Right now. <laughs> Evil Dead, 40th anniversary, nice picture of Bruce Campbell, a.k.a. Ash, on the back. The original Cabin in the Woods movie with the evil presence, of course. Lots of different weapons, lots of different accessories for the ultimate Ash. And if you open up the box in traditional NECA style, you can see the figure. Nice photo of the figure. Here's everyone involved with the creation of the toy. And here's the barcode as well in case you want to uh, give it a gander inside a Target store. And this is going to be fun as I do have a lot of different Ashes to compare him to. So we'll get everything out of the box and have a look-see. And of course, here is Ash out of the packaging. And what's actually pretty cool about this is that if you were looking for just a regular Bruce Campbell figure, that'll meet that requirements as well because it's pretty dang spot on to the actor's likeness. Now, you do get this recorder from the movie. Excellent paint on it. Very well done. It's basically just a little mini replica. Nothing moves on it. It's got the film, the little reels. Nothing will turn or anything like that. So it's very stagnant, but it's very well done. Nice texturing on the back as well. Very old, very cool looking. And then you get this old school evil lantern. I'm assuming it's an evil lantern since it's an evil cabin and whatever else. But uh, very well done. Very nicely rendered. Got a little bit of a flicker of a flame inside there. Nothing moves. The handle is pretty sturdy. Nothing opens. I'm sure you could get into it, but... And it's not meant to do that. Then you have this old shotgun, right? Very cool. This is actually really well done. I'll give it to him all day. It looks like a little mini replica. It's pretty dang cool. Nice weathering on it. Nice paint. Nice brown. And you'll see he holds it well because he's got two hands, right? He's got, well, multiple hands. But uh, you get the idea. You can swap them out. And then you get the old-fashioned chainsaw. Nice red to it. Very nicely done. This is NECA right there. <laughs> there. Nice little personal touch, right? Very rough. It's beautifully rendered. So I'll give it to him all day. You got the little ripcord and everything else. So, yeah, pretty dang cool. Then you get an axe. Not much to say about the axe, of course. It's got a nice handle to it. But the nice thing about all these accessories and weapons is that, I mean, if you didn't want to use it for Ash, I'm sure you could find other figures to use it with, right? Hint, hint, wink, wink. And he also comes with a set of three head portraits. You have the standard looking up, right? Maybe what's he looking at up there? You have the McFarlane-esque looking to the side head portrait, right? I would say, if anything, they look like Bruce Campbell. If you said, okay, this is Evil Dead, Bruce Campbell, yada, yada. I like the numbers on the inside just in case. You go, oh, yeah, like uh, head portrait number two. But I would say it's a little Uncanny Valley in some instances, but, uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's Ash for me. It's, it's close enough. Because the actual figure, I would say, this head portrait does a pretty fantastic job of capturing the actor's likeness. Out of the three heads, this one is numero uno to me, as you can see, right? It's just certain things here and there. That's all I'm going to say. But nicely detailed, nice folds in all the clothes, nice paint everywhere. The belt's painted. Nice brown on the pants. Nice shoes. A little bit weathered. He's running through the forest, trying to escape all the evil, right? So you got to have a nice pair of shoes going on. Nice wrinkles, nice folds. 
Everything looks great. Little bit of a, a mishap right there, right? Out of everything, I'll point that out because, uh, you know, people loves to see that. But, uh, yeah, if anything, that was the only blemish on him. But, you know, standard articulation, nothing to go like, oh, my God, you're breaking new grounds, but then nothing to say like, oh, he's hindered at all. One thing I will tell you, didn't have to heat this guy up whatsoever. Again, carrying forth with most NECA toys recently, they've gotten really good at implementing that. So very much a very well-articulated figure, and nothing that I'm going to go, oh, you know, you got to break or anything like that. So he's got single jointed knees and the elbows. you got the feet rock. And, you know, the main part about figures like this is can they hold the weapons? Can they hold and do the poses that I want to see? That would be standard for an Evil Dead Ash figure. And, yeah, I can definitely tell you that he holds all the weapons beautifully. And he photographs beautifully for those of you that want to take photos of the figure. And including the, the chainsaw, right? That's That's like... A staple right there that's got to work and i can tell you that it definitely does and you get him all kinds of poses and stands and everything else so he looks really cool especially when holding let's say the lantern the shotgun he just looks like he's going out to blow up some deadites and yeah in terms of the posability of this figure i think that he works really well not much to do with the whole recorder but you know you can put a foot on it make, make it cool i don't know whatever you want to do when you compare him to other ash figures i'll tell you this all day i have a few and i really like the evil dead series but i like that because i have marvel zombies i like putting let's say this ash with him or even this more zombified looking ash those work really well so to have a more normal ash now out of all my ashes I don't need any more ashes, so we're good on the ash, but you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> and then, yeah, like I said, I mean, if you wanted to put him with zombies, Marvel, and or deceased, he is going to look quite good. So he is at that 7-inch mark, and he can get eaten or, or stop the zombie invasion, or hey, put him in other movies, whatever you want to do. It's a really cool figure. I highly recommend him, so if you are interested, keep an eye out on your Target shelves a coming soon wrap it up for my look at all the holothon offerings thus far a lot of great toys a lot of great brands a lot of cool things are happening don't forget holothon officially starts march 18th so depending on when you see this video there might be stuff out now right maybe check the stores just fyi or uh, they will be hitting your local target stores soon now remember if you're in the united states you can hit up target or you can go on the target app and for all the international peoples, you head over to holothon.com and you can grab all the different toys like each and every one of these that we went over today. And I want to say thank you to the people over at NECA Toys and of course Target for sending these over for the purposes of giving you guys this early fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly remember, bring on the turtles, baby, and then the gargoyles. And, and just keep those coming. That's cool with me. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.